good morning friends in this video we are going to discuss uh, exact location of the object so in the last video we discussed uh, the object is there in the first quadrant the object is there in the second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant like that we discussed it. but uh, in the first quadrant where it is where it is actual location so in examination he will not ask like that the point or line is there uh, from this point to this point this much distance this much distance like that he will ask so it is very difficult to identify that's why this video helps you to uh, analyze the, our exact location we can find okay so with this uh, we can end this projections uh, basics so this video also very very important uh, so uh, already we know that uh, in the first angle projection what we will get in the second angle projection what we will get in the third angle projection what we will get in the first angle projection front view by top view in the second angle position, and uh, both front view and top view, both front view and top view, above x y, and the third angle position, top view by front view, and in fourth angle position, both are below x y. Okay, so now we will see exact location how to identify. So here, here I am going to once again draw the four, four quadrants. Four quadrants, and you know that uh, this is horizontal plane, horizontal plane, and this is vertical plane, vertical plane, horizontal plane. Okay, and uh, what we discussed already, the object is there in the first two quadrant. So instead of that, just uh, I am giving a small point, a small point is there in the first two quadrant. The point is there first two quadrant. So how can you say the point is there first quadrant okay but what is the distance from the this point to this point and what is the distance from this point to this point this is very difficult to say that's say in the drawing in the drawing what is there the point is above hp above hp means on this above hp so that's the right here point point a is is above hp above HP and and point A the name point name point name is A and point A is in front of VP vertical plane in front in front of in in front of VP okay so here we can clearly analyze that this is point A this is point A this is point A and here, here the point A is the point A is the point A is above HP, above HP and in front of VP. The point A is above HP and in front of VP. Suppose uh, I'll say the point A is above HP and in front of VP means uh, just you can think blindly it is in the first quadrant. There is no other chance. Above HP in front of V means almost it is first quadrant only. Okay. And now, and uh, then uh, suppose uh, the point is there in the second quadrant. The point is there in the second quadrant. How can you say this? Now you can say, analyze this. The point is there in the, suppose the point B is there. A point B is in the second quadrant. So how can we write critically? The point B is above HP. So here also above HP, above HP and behind, back side is there it is. That's why in drawing we can call it is behind, behind VP. Okay. So point B is above HP and behind VP. Above HP and behind VP means you can say that it is in the second quadrant. It is in the second quadrant so this is in the first quadrant and this is related to second quadrant and now we will go for third quadrant suppose the point same point c is there here point c is point c is in the third quadrant how can you say this point c is in third quadrant means it is it is now you can say easily the point c is below hp below 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 hp and behind 
and behind VP. Okay? So, this all the data clearly it is not available in the textbook. That's why clearly you notice the point C is below HP and behind VP. It says that uh, it is meaning it is the point is there in the third quadrant. In the same manner, the point is there in the fourth quadrant. Okay? So, fourth quadrant. So, the point D is there in the fourth quadrant. How can you say point uh, D is below HP and in front of VP. So, below below HP and in front of VP. So, this is the actual structure of the projections. So, now directly you can say that a point A is above HP and in front of VP. The point A is in the first quadrant. The point is above HP and behind VP. The point is in the second quadrant. The point C is below HP and behind VP. The point C is in the third quadrant. The point D is below HP and in front of VP. The point D is in the fourth quadrant. Okay? So, up to now it is good. So, whatever the above HP, in front of VP, behind VP, BM, below HP, everything we will get. So, with this we will get a 90% of the data, it is clear up to now what we discussed, but only a small lagging point is, so above HP means how much distance it is, you can think now, above HP means, suppose in examination or in projection of points, a point A is given 30 mm above HP, so directly you can analyze the point A is 30 mm above HP. 30 mm above HP and uh, suppose from here 20 mm 20 mm in front of VP a question suppose example a point A is there it is 30 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP easily we can say that above HP and in front of VP means it is first angle projection first point so angular projection we can decide why? Because in question itself it is given that the point A is above HP and in front of VP. Above HP and in front of VP means it is first quadrant belongs to. Suppose the object is there in the first quadrant means we must follow first angle projection. Very good. So the given question is first angle projection. So what is the given here? A point is given. A point is given. So point there is no dimensions. Dimensions point is points. So where it is given actually? From Horizontal plane 30 mm above is there and 20 mm in front is there. 20 mm in front is there. So like that. Uh, uh, now with this, uh, with this all these uh, four five videos, uh, if you see this uh, twice and thrice, uh, you will get clear idea. And if you know the basics, all the basics of this uh, uh, projections, uh, I think that uh, you are perfect uh, in this uh, projections. Uh, and uh, next class we go for projection of points okay so we will enter into the projection of points so in the projection of points uh, i'll give the number of examples suppose the point is there in the first quadrant the how the questions uh, uh, he is asking uh, and uh, uh, how we'll answer so one if you see one or two questions uh, easily we can solve all the problems from projection of points so next class next video we go for projection of points so thank you for your support and uh, please uh, share share and uh, subscribe my channel and uh, uh, whatever the coming videos uh, you will get uh, uh, directly if you subscribe it and uh, share your friends and if you are not understanding uh, please uh, uh, try to raise your questions in the form of comment okay thank you thanks